Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. For those of you who have the Samsung VS70, okay, cordless vacuum, and you want to know how to properly uh, empty the container and then keep it clean, do the maintenance you should be doing on this vacuum, you've come to the right place, okay? So to make it easier, let's just go ahead and disconnect the tube and just have this motor part here. All right, so now that we just have this part here, it's simply pushing this button right here and kind of give it a little bit of wiggle and it drops down. Okay, now this part here, let's get a little closer to the trash can because that's what we need. Okay, so we're still looking at the front of the thing, the container, because there's the push button here, all right? And then here is the hole where the vacuuming actually takes place. So we're just gonna grab a hold of it, kind of twist it counterclockwise to the left, just a little bit, and it's gonna come loose. All right, shake that out. Dump that big thing in there. Okay. Kind of still nasty. Now, if you want to put it together and go back to vacuuming, here you go. You want to put it back in. There is a center cylinder right there. Okay, so you want to make sure that that's on place. Okay. Now, this isn't lined up yet, so you want to kind of, and there's a little notch right here for this. You're going to kind of push it down, and it should kind of lock in right there when you twist it back to the right or, or clockwise. And then you'll know you have it right because this is gonna line up over here where the vacuum hole is again. Now we're gonna put it back on real simply. This one's kind of nice. Um, no, even though it doesn't have a look, a little drop, you know, a little drop door there, these are spring loaded, these little wings. So to stick it back in, start right up here where the push button was, kind of get that set. Okay, now over here, now we're gonna push it in, click. Click here, click here, and we're done. The container's back on. Not as fast as that little hatch, you know, drop door thing, but this next step where it comes to washing this, which is important, is actually easier on this one because it doesn't have that. Okay, at this point here, I've got one side of my sink filled up with just some warm, soapy water. And I'm talking about just some warm water with just a few drops of Dawn. Nothing crazy. We don't want anything crazy and corrosive. All right, so here's our Samsung container, right? Here's our HEPA filter, which you're just going to, there's a little thing right here that says pull, and you can just lift it straight up and pull, okay? And you can probably see it's pretty dusty looking, and it's pretty dusty in there. All right, now everything lines right back up. When you go to put it back in, um, let's see here. Okay, so using the push button as a reference, we have a little notch right up here and it just kind of all fits right back in place. These four notches and then that notch right there where the push button goes, okay? But let's get back to washing it. Washing it's super easy. <laughs> That's all you do. Let's take it apart and drop it in there, okay? And we're gonna wash it, let it soak, rinse it, and then let it dry. Now the instruction manual says it should probably dry for a good 24 hours before you uh, put it back together. And a lot of times I always found the section booklets are kind of like crazy overkill, but not this time. 24 hours really is a minimum, uh, even, you know, maybe even more if you have a real humid house because you're not running the air conditioner at the time or something like that, um, and it's not draining real well. But let's get back to the, the rest of the unit there. We're back over here because there's actually one more filter. Okay, so that filter that I just pulled out just because this is bagless does not mean it's filterless, okay? Everything needs filters, whether it's a bagless or not. And the, the, you think, okay, bagless is awesome, but it requires washing, okay? So there's an upside and downside to everything. You don't have to buy bags, but you gotta wash it. This here still holds the exhaust filter. So that was the intake filter we saw there. All right, so right here, along this little purple ring here, it says Samsung, you're just gonna grab it, twist it counterclockwise, it pops off really easy. And then we have a depleted paper filter right there, you can see. Okay, there's just a little bit of dust on it. Uh, but that is our exhaust filter. That keeps it from blowing dust out into your house while you're vacuuming. Now, it doesn't need it right now, but it does require you to check in on it, and make sure it's not getting dirty. If it is starting to get dirty, I would suggest to take it to the air compressor with a little blow gun and blow it out real good, okay? And then put it back on. And I will probably be doing that on its next time around. But for right now, it's still okay because I wash this thing very regularly. 
like like every two or three weeks even actually. So we've got the Samsung name right here, just to the left of the center. It's dropping down, it's lining up, and we're twisting back to the right, you heard a click, it's locked in place, it's done. Super easy, uh, they've really designed this really well and making it easy for you to, to maintain it. Okay, now that I've washed it out, right, it's soaking wet, I've rinsed it with clean water, you're gonna shake it <laughs> in the house, may or may not be the best place, but I've got a rug here and some tiles, so it's okay. All right, so there's our filter. I got some paper towels set up over here. All right, so here's our main unit and the cartridge. You definitely gotta make sure these are shaken out, okay? Or your 24 hour uh, drying time is gonna double. So if you don't take these, and, and don't be crazy, okay? But give them a little bit of a shake so that the water's not standing in them. Okay, here's the outer container. And then, you know, it's, it's in the evening right now. I'm gonna let them sit like this overnight. And then in the morning, I'm gonna stand them over on the other side. Anyways, I hope this helps clarify how to maintain your Samsung cordless vacuum cleaner. This is gonna work good for it, whether it's the V70 or the V90 or the other ones. Uh, as far as that part, they're all identical, okay? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, check out my website. Hundreds of more videos organized really, really well. And here's an additional video for you to watch as well. Thanks again.